In this ukulele video, we're gonna go over the Let It Be Challenge. I'm gonna show you the chords, the strumming, give you a few tips on the singing as well, because the winner is gonna win this Koloha Concert Solid Spruce Top, Solid Acacia Sides and Back Ukulele. Hi, I'm Terry Carter and welcome to Ukulele the Pros. If you're into ukulele tutorials, reviews, and awesome giveaways, this is a great channel for you. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification. And if you're over on Instagram, check me out over there at Uke Like The Pros. So this challenge, this is a strumming and a singing challenge. You have until July 31st to get your video in. Now, you have to post your video on the Uke Like The Pros forum. That's a free forum. I'll put a link of that below. Um, you can also find it at ukulelepros.com. And also, up on a forum, you're gonna find the lyric sheets, the chord sheets, and the backing tracks because your video has to have you playing with the backing tracks that I have up there. So this is a really great challenge, it's kind of fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the, the entries. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it for you with the backing track, because that's the rules, and then uh, I'll show you some of the key things you need to know. One, two, three, and... When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. 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 Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. All right, so I switched out to my ukulele. This is not the one you're gonna win. You wouldn't want this one anyways. You're gonna win the one I was just playing. Now, a couple of things. You're gonna do this short arrangement. That's it, just an intro, first verse, and chorus. That's it, the video's gonna be short, and that's how long the backing tracks are anyways. You also have the option of doing the key of G, which is what we're doing it in here, or the key of C. Now, I'll show you those chords in the key of C, but I'm gonna do in the key of G because it's a little bit easier for where my voice sits. If you tend to have a little bit of a higher voice, the key of C will probably be a good one. And actually, the original recording by the Beatles is also in the key of C. All right, so uh, let me just play the intro here. All right, so that's actually just the first half of the intro. And I wanna talk about the second half in a second, but let's talk about the strum pattern um, first, because that's really the kind of the important thing here. So just grab a G chord here. And it's just gonna go down, 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 down. That's it. Now, if you're into counting, it's just gonna be a quarter note on beat one and I'm using my index finger to strum. If you want to use your thumb, totally fine. Beat two, you're gonna do another downstroke. That's just an eighth note though, and then on the end of two, you're gonna do a quick down up with 16th notes. So that's the counting. So it'd be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... Okay. But each chord only gets two beats. So you're gonna do the G chord with a down, 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 up. Then you're gonna to go to the D chord. You're gonna do the same exact strum pattern. So down, 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 up. Then you're gonna to go to the E minor chord. Here it is. It's gonna get the same rhythm. And down, 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 up. And then it's gonna to go to just your regular old C chord. Same thing, and down, down, down. All right, so let's just try those two bars. Ready, and. All 
Now I mentioned that the second half of this intro is very important because these last two bars of the intro are the same as the last two bars of the verse, are the same as the last two bars of the chorus. And it's just gonna go. So you know, all it does is cut out the E minor chord. That's it, so it's just G to the D to the C chord now, no E minor, and to the G. All right, so that's that second half of the intro or the, the last two bars. Here we go, let's do just that. Ready, and. So that's it, that's the first four bars for the intro. And the cool thing about it is that exactly the same as the verse, okay? So let's play those four bars together. Here we go, ready, and it's. All right, so I wanted to show you if you're doing in the key of C, and again, there is a lyric chord sheet for the key of G and also the key of C, but that's gonna be the same progression except for the chords are gonna be C to G, A minor, and F. All right, so let me just play the intro in the key of C. Here we go, ready, and. That's a little easier. I think the chords are a little bit easier in the key of C, but the singing, as I mentioned, is a little bit higher in that key. So you have to just determine what you want to do. All right, we're going to go back to the key of G now. Before we get to the chorus, let me help you a little bit with the singing, okay? Because the singing is going to have a pickup, right? Every time you come in with the singing on the verses and the chorus is going to be a little bit of a pickup. Let me show you what I mean. In times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. All right, so did you notice those first two words, when I, are actually a pickup that are coming in right before the verse starts. So if I slow it down for you and play the last two bars of the intro, it's... And then you're right in right there. So the other key thing besides the pickup is the starting note. So in the key of G, your first note here is D. When I, when I find myself, okay? You can also do a little octave lower if you want. When I find, right there, third string, second fret, but I'm gonna start up here on this first string, fifth fret, that's your D note. When I find, so have that melody note ready to go it's gonna help you sing right in key. All right, so here we go. Let's try, let's try the verse now. Actually, just the first half of the verse, and I wanna talk about the, the pickup in the second half of the verse. One, two, three, four. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. So notice that what we just played, the chords of the verse are exactly the same as the intro, we just added the lyrics. Now the pickup to the second half of the verse is this. And in my hour of darkness, so it's just the word and, and in my hour of darkness, that's the only word, so it's just one word on the pickup for that one, okay? So let's do it, let's do, um, I'll, I'll count you, let's do two bars before the second part of the verse, so it's gonna go. Let it be. 
All right, and then you get to the chorus. Okay, we're gonna do the whole thing again with the backtrack, but let's just move on. Let's just do the chorus now. All right, so let me play the chorus and sing the chorus. Let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. And that's it, it's gonna end right there. All right, the chorus, let's talk about the chorus first. Same four chords, except just a different order. It's gonna go E minor, to the D, to the C, to the G. And then, remember I said earlier, the last two measures of the intro are the same as the last two measures of the chorus. Well, here they are. It's just regular G, D. Remember this part? C, and G. So all you have to remember is the beginning of the chorus. The E minor to the D, to the C, and to the G. The way I remember it, no matter what key I'm playing in, it's always going to start on that, that minor chord that we have in a song, in this case E minor, and then it's going to walk backwards alphabetically. So E minor, what comes before that? D, what comes before that? C, and then it goes to the, the root of the, the key you're in, which is G. All right, before we add the lyrics, let's just play the chorus. Here we go. Ready, and... Actually, the ending is going to be slightly different. I'll show you what's going to happen there. It's not the chord's not different. Just we're just going to strum one time on that last G chord. All right, now the lyrics also have a pickup. Let it be. So it's again, it's going to come in on that and the four. So it's going to be pick up right into the downbeat of the E minor chord. Okay, so let's try it. Here we go. I will play it, the last two bars of the verse going into the chorus. Here we go. And. That's where it changes. That last chord, you're just gonna hit the G chord one time on beat three and then just let it ring out. Now again, if you're playing the whole song, it's totally different, but for this Let It Be Challenge, you're only gonna play that intro, first verse, and the chorus. All right, don't forget you can grab the lyric sheets, the chord sheets, and the backing tracks on the forum. I'll put links to how to sign up for the forum uh, below and you can go ahead and sign that up uh, for it. Let me go ahead and play it now. We're gonna do exactly what we just did with the backing track, which again is a requirement for your video, and then we'll wrap it up. I'll tell you just the final little details about when and how you're gonna get your submissions entered. A one, two, three, and. Now that's it. So you have to record yourself video playing and singing with the backing track. So you might have to play the backing track on your computer or your, it's through your iPod, through some speakers or something. You got to figure it out um, how to do that. But don't forget, you have till July 31st to get your submissions in. The videos cannot be any longer than a minute and a half. Now you cannot load videos directly to the forum. You have to load it to, for example, YouTube and then copy the URL, make your video unlisted or public on YouTube, 
and then copy that URL and then post it into or paste it, I guess, into the form. So just remember that you can't post a video right into the form, you're gonna have to copy the URL and then copy uh, and paste it into the form. So anyway, good luck to you. This is a great challenge. I'm looking forward to hearing all the submissions. Get it in, give it a shot, even if you're not a singer, try singing, be bold, be brave, don't be shy, have fun with it, and I look forward to seeing all your videos, and uh, good luck to you.